Hello there. Today I'm going to try to fix a problem. And the problem is that I am using something like this. A mechanical disc brake. Oh, here we go. A mechanical disc brake. And the problem with mechanical disc brakes is that as all disc brakes, they all work in the uh, using a high, fairly high uh, mechanical advantage and that they are using the traditional coil uh, housing to for the cable run. Unfortunately, the traditional uh, coil type uh, housing for a cable is not compressionless, which means that on a large bike, like this one, they tend to get rather springy. So what I'm going to try to do today is to make a compressionless housing using this 8 mm aluminum tube and a few cable uh, attachments, cable ends. So it's going to be rather easy. So I'm going to guide you through a process of making this yourselves because I hope it's going to make well, operating my brake much more pleasant and the, the difference in the cable or lever feel between the, the front and rear brake to be less pronounced. So, let's start. Okay, so tools for today are a hexaw, a PTFE insulation tape, which you can buy from a hardware store, two cable adjusters for uh, uh, the brake housing, or any, or any other was going to work, and of course an 80mm aluminum tube. Now, before you start, you need to measure the length of the of the housing you want to replace with this compressionless tube, because all you're going to be doing is inserting the cable adjuster here on both ends and replacing the length of of the housing with a tube. Obviously, a tube cannot compress, so the lever should be uh, less springy in feel. In my case, I'm replacing 56 centimeters of housing with with this, so I obviously measure 56 centimeters. There you go. Okay, I've cut my tube, so now I need to insert the cable adjusters at the end. Effectively, you're also getting a really long dual sided cable adjusters with this little mod. And I'm going to do before I insert the the screws here because as you can see there's nothing holding them here and I do not intend to thread anything because it's just a quick job I'm going to wrap the thread on the adjuster with a PTFE tape which is going to be soft enough to fill the space between the uh, between the tube and the thread on the adjuster so I'm going to just enforce it inside and that's going to hold it together once I install the brake it's not going to move anyway so that's just for the ease of installation and replacing the cable okay this is one end now let's insert it There you go. And there you go. Now I have the thing prepared for installation on the bicycle. All right. This is now installed on a bike and as you can see this is how the housing run is from the from the lever to the caliper. This is the entire cable run from the caliper to the lever.
as an or down and back. The initial impression is well extremely good. The it's not the same, but the lever feel on both front and rear is now eerily similar. And if you were face palming all the way because you thought this is just the Avid Roller Magic. You are precisely correct. This is what Avid sold years ago when disc brakes were new and mechanicals were simply the budget option. This is the Avid Roller Magic homegrown. So I'm going to test it now, but as I said, the initial impression is extremely good. The lever feel on both front and rear is eerily similar. And I could swear that the rear brake is now stronger than it was before, but that just might be the placebo effect. Anyway, thank you for your undivided attention. And I hope you already subscribed, liked this video, and I hope to see you on the, on the next one.